David Roth. Some people say I'm their mentor, but I think I just helped them out with a couple of tricks. From the Magic Castle, I have several awards, Visiting Magician and Close-Up Magician at the Lecturer of the Year Award, and then I got um, a Creative Fellowship. That was a great honor. In the old days, coin tricks were short. You make a coin disappear and you pull it out of somebody's ear. I wanted tricks that were longer, more theatrical, so I created some original effects that nobody had ever seen before. A lot of people now do these routines and they don't realize it's my material. Our next performer is a magician of the old school. And let me just remind you, we don't use camera tricks or false editing. Everything you see is as it happens. So please, welcome the supremely gifted David Roth. Thank you. Ken, Teller, would you mind please joining me at the table? I can't wait to see you. Good to see you. I have something I'd like to show you. These are U.S. Kennedy half dollars. I won't be using all of them, but four coins and a cup. Now, very few people know that if you hold the coins in the cup at just the right angle, there's something in that cup, and I think it's a coin. There are only three coins here. This is the first coin to travel from my hand to the cup. That leaves one, two... Three coins left, and that's the first one. Please notice, I do not send them up my sleeve. They go straight to the cup. That's how the first one went across. Listen. And the second one goes the same way. Just two. Two coins have traveled, two coins left to go. Now, I'll be honest, because you guys know a lot about magic. And the only reason you didn't see these go is because it happened by magic. That was the first one. That was the second one. Watch the third one. Listen. Did you hear it? Me neither. Must be hush money. Because there it is. So that's one, two, three coins in the cup. Last one's the hardest because you know what I'm going to do? It's already done. And that's how he's saying four coins. And thank you. I didn't even use a magic wand. I don't have a magic wand, but I do have a chopstick, which is almost as good. And with these coins and this chopstick, I will show you something amazing. One in the hand. Watch. Nothing's happened yet, but if I just make a magic pass and wiggle my thumb, that coin will change to a Chinese coin with a hole in the center. It isn't worth as much as these three silver coins, but it's still worth keeping. So I'll do it again with coin number two. The idea is the same. It hasn't changed yet. But I just need to make a magic pass and wiggle my thumb, and that coin will change to a Chinese coin. To the whole right to it. Two coins are left. I'll do the next one visibly. That means you actually see it change from a silver half dollar to a Chinese coin, just like magic. And that's the last coin change from a silver half dollar to a Chinese coin. Back to silver. Back to Chinese. Back to silver again. And one more thing. I got the last one in the cup. Give the cup a shake. They all change back to silver. And that's why we call it magic. You know, maybe I'm using too many coins. Watch this one, then these. One in the hand, and one, two, three in the cup. Now watch this coin, because it's gone. Really gone. Truly gone. Which means just three. I'll do it again. Watch this one, then these. This one, then these. One in the hand, and two in the cup. Now watch this one, because it's gone. Really gone. Truly gone. Which means... That's two. Watch the count. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's gone. Here we go. Truly gone. Which leaves just one. Now what do you do with a single coin? 
I can put it over there, bring it up over here. If I touch it to my elbow, it'll come over here. If I try to put it back, it'll come out over here, so I'll put it over there and make it jump across the Drop it over there, and you think it's here, but it isn't, because sometimes they really disappear, but they never go far. There it is. Here I can always make it twenty times faster. Incredible. I saw that when your name came on the screen and when Penatella saw who was going to come out, they both smiled. They must know your name. I know you're very well known and respected in this industry. How long have you been performing for? Oh, since I was 10. Wow, so five or eight years? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, the trick you just did there, is this one of your own? Because I believe you have created a lot of tricks. Oh, yes. Oh, that was all original material. Wow. But some of your tricks are being used by other magicians, I know. How does it feel when you see uh, one of the new kids on the block doing one of your tricks? If they do it well, it's very gratifying. If they do it badly, I'm sorry I ever gave it away. <laughs> so, David, do you think you fooled them? I think I fooled them with one particular part, the vanish at the end of the three coins. Okay, well, let's find out what they have to say about that. Penn, Teller, what's your verdict? David wrote the books on coin magic that we read. And seeing uh, Spellbound and Coins Across and all those things done that well... That close, that beautifully, that perfectly. I think that because we read the books, we have a pretty good idea how he did most of the stuff. And I do not give a good damn. I'm sitting here next to Teller. I don't care. We have a pretty good idea. We have a pretty good idea because of his books. And I'm going to tell you, he fooled us. Wow. No doubt about it. Penn and Teller will be back to perform a spectacular trick when we return. See you in a couple of minutes.